our final inductee. I didn't check with Hank Wesh, I probably should have, but I think she is the youngest member of the Breitbart Hall of Fame. She's always been fast. It isn't often that someone retires from their sport before the age of 30 with a string of records and achievements that could stretch from California to Sydney. But Monique Henderson always was a step or two ahead of her peers, starting when she first laced on her track shoes at the ripe old age of six. She set age group records that still stand, followed by the unprecedented feat of four straight California State High School 400 meter dash titles while attending Morris High, including the still standing National Federation record of 50.74 seconds. In 2000, Henderson was selected to her first Olympic team, heading to Sydney, where she gained valuable experience as an alternate to the U.S. women 4x400 meter team. All of that changed four years later in Athens, Greece, when as a junior at UCLA, she ran in the preliminary rounds, cracking 50 seconds for the first time before being added to the gold medal team at the last minute. She earned a spot on the relay team in the 2008 Beijing Olympics with her fourth place finish in the Olympic trials. However, it was another sub 50 second run in the qualifying meet that assured her of a spot on the team where she went on to help the U.S. win gold again. Class of 2012, Breitbart Hall of Famer, Monique Henderson. I run for home. It is such a huge honor to be here receiving this award. Bob Breitbart has done something amazing with creating the Hall of Champions and then beginning this wonderful awards banquet. It was an honor to know him. Um, and I cherish my memories of him and the tours that he gave me at the Hall of Fame. I actually thought I'd be accepting this award about 10 years from now. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, is that I retired from running earlier than I thought I would. People keep asking me why I stopped running so soon. Well, I began competing internationally when I was only 16. As you saw, I made the 2000 Olympic team as a junior in high school, and a high school athlete hadn't made that team in over 30 years. So I was able to make three Olympic teams by the age of 25, when the average age for an Olympian to make their first team is only 23. Now, I could have held back and ran a little slower so I could have prolonged my career, but who does that? <laughs> so I was happy with my accomplishments and proud of my career, and I truly enjoyed every minute of challenging myself, traveling the world, doing something I loved, and most importantly, making my family, friends, and community proud. The second reason that I'm receiving this award much sooner than I expected is because of Steve Brand the amazing sports writer. I actually lost track of time since I ran my last race. However, he didn't. And as soon as the three-year retirement period had passed, he entered my name on the ballot, and here I am tonight. I want to make sure I thank everyone that has gotten me to this point. I'd first like to thank my grandfather, Adam Sr., who's able to be here tonight. I'd also like to thank my dearest and longest friend, Janissa, who's also here as well as Rich and Tanya Holman, who have came here tonight to support me as well. Thank you to my two lovely older sisters. Starla and Monica have supported me and given me priceless advice that you can only receive from sisters. They have both been a huge influence in my life, and if it wasn't for them, I may have never ran track. They are both married to two wonderful men, Andrew Sr. as well as Rashad Sr., and they've blessed me with my gorgeous nieces, Amara and Zaria, and my handsome nephews, Rashad Jr. and Andrew. I'd like to thank my high school coach, Gary McDonald, who coached me at Morris High School. He is an amazing coach and an even better man. Because of him, I was able to set local, state, and national records that still stand today. I'd like to thank my coach, Jeanette Bolden at UCLA, 
who never stopped believing in me. I'd like to say thank you to all my friends in the media, Tom Shanahan, Steve Brand, Mark Ziegler, Nick Canepa, Chris Jenkins, Paul Rudy, Marion Cushy, Rick Willis, and Jim Laslovic, and all the other talented media individuals who have featured me here in San Diego. Thank you. And of course, I've saved the best for last. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. I wouldn't be here without you guys, literally. <laughs> my mother, Elaine, is the strongest, smartest, most beautiful woman I've ever known. She lives her life for her children and her grandchildren and does whatever it takes to make sure we are healthy and safe. She's my heart. My father is my backbone. He was my coach and has always had more confidence in me than I've had in myself at times. People always ask us how we make it work with a dad as a coach. Well, he's one of my best friends, and we have so much respect for each other that we've never had any issues. When I ran track as a kid on his youth team, no one even knew I was his daughter. He always treated me as an athlete on the track and a daughter at home. My mother and father have taught me to be fearless about setting goals and that when you work hard, you'll get there faster. I've always wanted to make you two proud, and the love I receive from you guys every single day reassures me that I have. I have learned many life lessons through my sport, and I'd like to share one with you guys tonight. When training for the Olympics, you are shooting for an enormous goal. Sometimes when you focus on something so grand, you forget to enjoy the little things along the way. And once you make that huge accomplishment, it becomes even easier to forget the small things in life that brought you joy. You see, once this big goal is achieved, there are no more major things to shoot for, and you can sometimes feel a little lost. So never overlook the small things in life that give you pleasure, but may not be on a grand scale. Those little moments are what the majority of our lives are made of. If you're only measuring your life by the rare and enormous accomplishments, then you are taking away so much of your happiness. So my message to you all tonight is that I have learned the importance of shooting for the stars and taking in the view along the way. Every day that you wake up, God blessed you with another opportunity to see a sunrise. You've been given another chance to have an impact on someone's life before the sun sets. So remember this, enjoy the journey as much as you enjoy your destination and appreciate every single last breath. Thank you. That was great. You gave the media a shout out too. I was so thoughtful. <laughs> you gave a shout out. Thank you.